Hi, welcome to Play It Alone. Before we start, I'd like to dedicate this video to my wife, Jill. This is our wedding picture. She lost her battle with cancer. I pray that they, the doctors and scientists, will find a cure for this dreaded disease. I miss you, Jill. We are up to game seven of the three move opening card deck. You will start out as red. You could play along and watch. The opening moves in game seven is nine to 13, 22 to 18, 12 to 16. White plays a strong move, 24 to 20, because it grips the uh, single quarter area. Your best reply is eight to 12, 25 to 22, 10 to 15 is your re resp uh, reply, and white goes 18 to 14. Here you're going to cut or exchange, go 16 to 19, white has to jump 23 to 16, and you jump back 12 to 19. Now in this position, white's going to play a move, it's, it's a, a pitch and a squeeze goes 14 to 10, which is a temporary sacrifice. You jump 7 to 14. And now here white goes 23, 27 to 23. You need a strong move here, a counterattack for here. And the, the, the drawing move, the best move here is 14 to 18. It's a double exposure move. If white jumps this way, you would just go 6 to 9 and have a better game. So white jumps to 2, he goes 23 to 7. And you gain the tempo by your double exposure move, and you go 18 to 25. White jumps back 29 to 22. Here in this position, you jump 2 to 11. White goes 26 to 23. 4 to 8, as in the game, 23 to 19, you jump to 24, white jumps to 19. Here you're going to cut with 11 to 15, white jumps 19 to 10, and you jump back 6 to 15. 20 to 16, you reply 8 to 12, 16 to 11, and your reply is 12 to 16. Here, white plays 21 to 17, and you're going to hold him in that position by going 5 to 9. 31 to 27, you go 16 to 19. Now, white's going to give you a check, he's going to cut an even exchange. You jump 19 to 26, and white jumps 30 to 23. Your response is 1 to 5. White goes 32 to 28. Now, you've been in an end game for a while and you have the one move that's the save and move for a draw. Do you see it? Right. 15, 18. White cannot jump this way because you would jump 2. So he has to jump 22 to 15. And you jump 13 to 22. And from here, it's a draw, just to show you some moves. And it's three for three, and both players agree on a draw. Now, that's the best defense for red. Now, we're going to show you the white side. I'm going to, I'm going to show you the key landing. I just have to adjust the pieces. Adjusted, and also we're going to move the arrows. So let's make whites going down this way. You're playing the white side, and it's going up this way. We'll move these. Now this is the key landing that we've got, and what what you did as what playing as white, you have to the pitch. And the squeeze. Okay? So here's the pitch. 
14 to 10. Here's your play, and red jumps 7 to 14. Here's the squeeze, 27 to 23. Now, if a person didn't know that 14 to 18 is the draw move, and that's the best defense, he can get into trouble. Albert Jordan wasn't uh, a champion player, didn't know uh, this, was, uh, this move at the time. He was across the board, it gets a little harder. He played two to seven. Now, Sam Ganoski played at this jump, 23 to uh, 16. In this position, Albert Jordan played six to 10. But just to show you, because we don't know so your, what your opponents might play first, if four to, he, four to eight, your best reply would be 16 to 12 because he would be threatened to go into 12. So you always, your best reply is what your opponent played, and then, because each move changes the position. So in the game, 6 to 10 was played, and Konoski, White, played 30 to 25. And as, as you can see, White has a strong attack. Here, 4 to 8, and you go 16 to 12. In the game, Red played 14 to 17, white jumped 21 to 14, and red jumped 10 to 17. You squeeze 25 to 21, red came 1 to 6, you jump 21 to 14. And now if if red goes from 6 to 10, you would go 22 to 17, and after the jumps, you're up a checker and have a, a winning uh, game. So red played 6 to 9. Your best reply, right, 29 to 25, when red jumps 6 to 18. Now you have a very good move here. You, based on the position, you play 28 and uh, 24 just like in the game. Now you notice if red goes 7 to 10, you would go 24 to 19 and break up the elbow and win the check. So what happens? Red plays 5 to 9. Now you have a combination. It's called it a roundabout shot, uh, do you see it where you give up two and you get three? Right, 20 to 16. Red has to jump, 11 to 27, and you get your triple, 32 to five for the win. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.